Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Vehicle X, and I'm on the 1.7.9, and I wanted to show you guys this. Now, it looks like it's just a potion lab, the same one, but you'll notice some very subtle differences, and you'll also notice that this thing has auto refill, and it has a has overflow protection, and it will also give you your items back that you don't need. So. Um, this is the simplest way. I'm going to basically grab a little bit of everything and put it in here. So this is the, uh, it uses an item elevator to do this. It only has to lift it up three blocks, but it's still part of the design. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing much, but if we come back here and check out the indicating lights. So these inputs here that are flashing these actually tell you uh, what item is being filled up right now so this is being filled up it's actually almost full so it's full now so as soon as this gets to be about 30 uh, 64 blocks it'll actually stop filling it and then after that anything that's left over is just gonna go all the way to the other side and come into the other chests over there which is pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and just accelerate that process so any other items that are you know coming through here now this is permanently on and as soon as it was done it moved the items out of the way and started loading the next set of uh, stuff so magma cream you can see that it's loading in here I only put in a couple so yeah anyway let's see what else is being filled I think that's pretty much it oh here we go uh, gunpowder is being full or filled it's pretty full already it should actually get to a point where it maxes out soon. It actually needs to fill up this entire thing before it maxes out. So it could use some more gunpowder. So now that it's pretty done, uh, this is still flashing, so it's actually still taking items. So, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's out of the chest area. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. So it has the this feature, too. This is a lot faster. I mean, it will load incredibly quick if you use a top input. So for me, I designed this to fit in the mansion, and it's going to be below the guest room. So if I come here and drop in every single item, and let's throw in some stuff that shouldn't be in there and see what happens. All right. So while this is doing its thing, it's going to take a little bit of time to load that in. I wanted to show you guys some prototype designs for some stuff I'm going to be putting in on the realms. By the way, if you guys want a tutorial on any of this stuff, uh, including the mansion, that's the new mansion, um, yeah, uh, let me know. I might just be do it. I might just do a tutorial on it, you know, anyway. And then, uh, of course, the auto brewing station with sorting system and auto loading. So these were some designs that I came up with, uh, minus the one in the middle. The one in the middle is more of the inspiration. And I've seen about six guys that showed a tutorial on it. So, yeah, I don't know who did the original, but this was the one I came up with. It's silent. It doesn't use any pistons. It is a little bit big. It, it takes up a one, two, three, four, five, six, six area, including the hoppers. So it's a six by one, two, three, four, five. And then if you add the double chest, it's a six, seven. So... But this is pretty cool because I have it set right now where it'll only accept these blocks. So you can use this in your everyday to sort them out if you want. Like, you know, if you get a lot of cobblestone, which I do. Um, the coolest thing about this concept is that you can actually put the double stack chest and have hoppers running down. And then add this little baby on here. And this thing right here will basically load, auto load, uh, just the same uh, material so if I get a lot of cobblestone for instance it's just gonna fill up these and then this one has a safety device as well so if it starts to get overloaded to be honest if you had it hooked to that system over there you'd have no problems because it would automatically stop feeding it but if you guys were interested I'm actually gonna be putting this in on the iron foundry I'm only gonna go with about uh, 13 to well I might go with about 18 chests so if I do, though, I mean, this is a pretty cool little design. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. So, yeah, you could easily adapt it and put it into a bunch of different systems. This is a, 
if you use the self-sorting device and then put you know 20 chests of cobblestone if that's how much you're getting you know in a period you know you can store it there or if it's quartz or whatever and it'll automatically sort it so you could you know after a hard day's mining you can come home and just dump all your crap in it and just have it auto sorted obviously you'd have to put as many of these as you do have in the game if you wanted to use this particular system um, yeah uh, the other thing that can be done too is to filter each individual item like you see here or um, simply use the like Seth bling technique which is having this and having two different materials in here so I could have maybe a stack of cobblestone wood and then maybe gravel or something in each chest you know and then when I come down there I'll know what's what and I could just basically go wherever and dump my items in here and then anything that doesn't uh, belong in there will either get destroyed if you want it to be destroyed or you can have it just go into a chest so if there was anything that went into this particular system that didn't belong there uh, for instance this redstone it's just gonna go through and just get kicked out and burned so yeah that really cool item sorting um, I seen mumbo do it a while back you know doing some sorting systems but I didn't see him actually put in a sorting system per se it's just a storage system which you know the one I showed you just now was the cool one so this should be done processing all the material so let's see what it gave me back um, the top chest has water in it but yeah as you can see I got my everything that didn't belong in there I got back <laughs> including the buttons yeah uh, so it's full of nether wart so if we go back there and check you'll see that the nether wart doesn't need any more the light for the nether wart should be on which should be here so nether wart completely filled so everything that tried to go into it just ended up on the other side which is cool and of course you know I'm limited by space because I'm trying to fit this under the mansion but you would probably not be so you can easily put double chests here I'm actually going to probably put a double chest there just in case you know seriously and it would be as easy as this that would be it and this will now handle a good couple stacks of stuff which is really cool <laughs> that'll actually be fine because <laughs> that's pretty funny yeah I don't know why I was tripping on that but yeah and then you'd come over here and you could use a transparent block if you'd like to um, of course I would have to do this to kind of widen it out a little bit um, maybe do something like that to just to keep the light out you know make it look good uh, look at decent in here but yeah it's really limitless the design you can actually make it bigger you actually don't need to have the item sorter uh, hooked up to this uh, it's just something somebody requested and I thought you know it's a lot of redstone but it's totally worth it um, if you're not using tons of sticky pistons and I have the iron foundry this is easy to do right here so yeah still does all the potions that you need to let's actually make a, a potion of what potion I have in there? Poison. Let's actually make a uh, potion of harming. There we go. So, first thing is another work. And then we got spider eye and then fermented spider eye. So, the nether wit's almost done. So, uh, one of the bad things about this particular brewing station, um, I will say that you can kind of you know, get around some of this stuff. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to, at this point, if I wanted to, to add anything else, if I had picked this potion and I wasn't, like, sitting there, I could have actually added in, you know, made it a splash and increased the, uh, say, potency of it. Um, you know, that would be added in right on top of them. So it, it really is dependent upon sequence, but anyway, really cool uh, design very simple so yeah now that I've kind of been talking for a little bit um, let's go ahead and jump on to my void world and uh, we'll... alright so this is uh, this is it so if you were to take away everything that you were looking at the doors and all that this would be the exact space um, it is kind of big seriously it's 21 by 6 by 6 
that's not including the potion lab the potion lab is a whole separate thing if uh, you guys want a tutorial on you know the sorting system you can put this onto anything um, seriously uh, I put it onto this it just required these uh, extra set of hoppers so that it will self load and it definitely needs the overflow protection um, so yeah this is not the fastest way uh, seriously the fastest way is to load it from here which is something you guys might want to keep in mind it's definitely a better way to go I'm gonna just say um, loading in these kind of materials it goes in a lot quicker so that's another wart right there and then once it's done loading the nether wart in it should put the next thing I put in there which is it's actually you know I actually think when you're activating a trap chest it actually freezes <laughs> the thing underneath it I probably shouldn't have used a trap chest I should actually use this <laughs> that would sure trip somebody out put a trap chest on the loading system and while it was open it wouldn't load but so they couldn't really check it <laughs> pretty funny I didn't even think about that but yeah you simply run this to where you want it to um, you could also use uh, this item elevator in increments of two after this so once it's three tall you can go two and then two and two so you could technically put your loading chests here you, it's really you know uh, as, as much material as you got you can make this do some crazy stuff I will say that I have experienced some wicked lag <laughs> uh, while using this but um, yeah so it apparently nether wart is full now it is moved on to I think glistening melon yeah, glistening mods being loaded in. Yeah, just to show you, it, it automatically does everything, and then anything that doesn't belong in here is going to end up in one of these chests. So I actually ran this through there uh, earlier just to kind of uh, check it to make sure that it, it won't accept any items except for the ones you want, um, which is uh, definitely something you need. Yeah, I think I actually threw a repeater in there. Uh, don't know where it went. I think I, oh, I actually threw it, threw it away. But yeah, uh, really, uh, really s uh, nice design. I spent a lot of time on it. Overflow protection, even this has overflow protection. And if you really wanted to get fancy, you could also have a system that came up off of here or even up here and fed uh, anything that came out here that didn't go into that area would be either destroyed or dropped into another set of chests you could actually just you know continue that circle but yeah auto filling um, you know potion lab it's really cool um, yeah the guy that requested it I didn't really think about it until I was on the realms going I'm kinda sick of going back here and going into each one and loading it when I'd rather just use redstone and have it do it for me and uh, yeah so this is it Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys would like a tutorial on any of the stuff you've seen, you know, put it in the comments. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and have a good one. Later.